Well, this is probably one of the strangest things I've ever done on this show. But our friends at the Oklahoma Non-Game Wildlife Department tell us that snakes and raccoons and other predators can actually climb up this pole and harm our birds. So we've placed our bird boxes in the optimum spots, but we're giving a little bit of extra protection from the various uh, harmful critters. And what we're doing is we're just putting lithium grease on the pole, and uh, I asked them the best way to do this, and they said just uh, put on the grease with your hands and just try to keep it from getting all over your clothes and everything. But this will actually keep the snakes and the varmints for climbing up the pole. Now if this is not your cup of tea, there are actually products that you can purchase that will do the same trick and they're called predator guards. And we've got one on our, one of our T posts that actually looks like an inverted cone. And they need to be at least eight inches in diameter to keep the predators from crawling up and around them. And it, sometimes it will keep squirrels and things out too. Of course, they can jump from the top. But also you can see them that we have on our purple martin boxes. You can purchase them for trees. So there's various kinds that you can uh, put on the various bird nests and to protect the varmints again from getting into them. And again, they're called predator guards or you can just put the lithium grease on. Now, um, on our viewers bulletin board today, we want to share with you some correspondence that we've gotten in. And I have a couple of real nice letters that have to deal with some of our themes this year. And one of them in particular is from Doug Becker of Wacomus, Oklahoma. And Mr. Becker, let me show you, he, he was so excited that we were doing wildlife, he sent pictures of his uh, Purple Martin houses, some more information about Purple Martins, and told us a few other pointers about Purple Martins and how to attract them into the landscape. So we really appreciate that. And he said, whatever we do, don't forget to mention the Purple Martin Conservation Association. And it's a group that you can get even more information about Purple Martins they have uh, books, they have predator guards, uh, obviously purple martin houses, all kinds of things in relation to them. And we also got a nice letter from Lisa Frederick, who is actually from Broken Arrow. And Lisa is a transplant, she said, from Nebraska, and she enjoys the show and all the ideas and gave us some more ideas for topics this year. I think she's a little hesitant on our garden railways, but again, I think they're all going to be fun. And if you know any place that we can visit or anybody that has uh, ideas or practices or hobbies of our themed gardens. Now remember those again are garden railways, wildlife habitats, youth gardening ideas, and tropical gardening. Be sure and write to us at Oklahoma Gardening 360 Ag Hall and that's Stillwater, Oklahoma 74078. Again, Oklahoma Gardening 360 Ag Hall, Stillwater, Oklahoma 74078. We'd love to hear from you about topics for the show, places to visit, people to visit, not only about our theme gardens, but just traditional how-to gardening like we try to provide you every week with timely tips. Well, that's all the time we've got today. Be sure and join us again next weekend for Oklahoma Gardening.